Hola, lovely people. So we are going to do the ISFP loop, but before I do that, I just want to bring up my friendship journals. Um, they are just ways to be able to help you connect with your friends or even someone you're dating or your spouse or your mom or your kids, um, just kind of anyone. Um, the questions are there to help find things about each other and also cater to the friendship. Um, there's also a fun little trivia. There's three different books because there's just three different options, three different sets of questions so that you have choices. So the function stack for the ISFP is introverted feeling, extroverted sensing, introverted intuition, and then extroverted thinking. So when the ISFP is in their prime, they're going to be utilizing the first two functions. But once they start experiencing stress in their life, they're going to shift gears and start utilizing the first and the third function. Initially, it's this, it's this. It's initially not a bad thing because it helps us gain new perspective and clarity about a situation. But if we get stuck in there, we can actually become obsessive over something. So I just like to describe some ways that might look like and some ways that might help. So when the ISFP is stuck in their loop, they become obsessive over future outcomes. They're worried about the mistakes they might make and also worried about the long-term implications of their actions. They can wallow in their inner emotions and their self-doubt, just not knowing how to move forward in something. They start to get a feeling about what will happen and then they try to use their introverted intuition to predict the future. And when they've been in this loop for a while, they become unsure about how to connect to the world around them and the people around them. And they become afraid that their choices may not end up in the way that they want. And so they will start analyzing their feelings and actions to better understand them. So the way an ISFP can help themselves climb out of the loop, first they need to address what is pushing them into the loop um, because that is the most important thing. So you might need counseling or just a friend to be able to help you navigate those things. But what you can also do is just stimulate yourself with the outside world. Go out with friends and uh, do something fun. Go eat some good food. Go explore. Go do something new you haven't done before. And heck, do something new even if it makes you nervous. You're trying to re-engage your physical senses, your extroverted sensing, and that will start giving your introverted feeling um, the clarity of its usability rather than always being bombarded by introverted intuition which is only making you more and more stressed when you're looking to the future and you can't quite predict it. So if you're an ISFP, I would love to hear your experiences in the comment section below. And also it would be able to help other ISFPs that might be struggling with this. And on that note, I will end with this on my friendship journals. I just hope that they are a fun way to be able to help you connect with the people around you. Also, there's photography from yours truly. Here's a photo. So there's a link in the description below if that is something you might be interested in or if you know someone who would really love that. So I will see you guys in another video, another life, you never know. Bye.